In this video, we're going to focus on the data labels here, or specifically how we can show the data labels in a stacked bar chart where you can see them all being stacked on each other and showing all of these values or data labels in here. So for this, we're going to use this very specific plugin and it's very straightforward once you're able to understand how to do this. So let's start and explore how to do this right now. In this video, we're going to answer one of the viewers questions. And this question is how to show values inside a stack bar in Chart.js. So this question came from one of my viewers of my other video related to how to sort a stack bar chart from high to low in Chart.js. And in here, Nilesh Kumar asked the following. Thank you, sir. Can you explain how can we show values inside a bar in this stack bar? All right. So first of all, a thank you for Nilesh to, for asking this question. And now let's start to explore how we can do this. To do this, we will be using a specific plugin. So, but before we even continue on with the plugin, let's go uh, go to this site here, chartjs3.com, getting started, and just copy the text here below, or at least this chunk of code. We're going to copy all of this code here. And if you want to, if you want to understand this code, check out this video that explains the JavaScript in this code. So we paste this in here, and as we paste this, we're going to cut out the title. Well, that's for me, basically. Put it in there. All right. So once I did this and I refresh, you can see here now we have a bar chart. What I want to do is I want to convert this now into a stack bar chart. To do this, I need another data set. So I'm going to add up a quick data set here. So I'm copying everything here and comma and then paste this in. And then I'll just make this five, five, four, five. I just get this all five. So we have a clear view of these numbers here. And then what I want to make sure is I want to make sure that this has only a single color. So it's easy to spot the difference. Make sure you put a comma here. And here as well, same story. I'm going to delete everything because it's not an array anymore, just a single value here. All right, so we can say weekly uh, reports. I have no idea, I'm just making it up. All right, so once we have this, we need to convert this into a stack bar chart. To do this, what we need to do here is on the Y and X axis, we need to indicate here the following. We say you're stacked, true, put a comma here between the curly braces, and then here for the Y axis, comma, stacked true once i save this and refresh you can see now we have a nice stacked bar chart we make it more fancy we make it horizontal but that's not necessary so we have this here now so what i want to do now is trying to get the values that we have here and put it in here to do this we're going to use a specific plugin which is called the data labels plugin so that's basically this one here chart.js plugin data labels we're going to create values in here, which are usually called data labels. So that's what we're going to do right now. To do this, all we have to do is we have to, first of all, get the link. So you click here on the chart.js, basically here, jsdeliver.com. You have search for the chart.js-plugin-data labels. Search for the latest version, which is version 2.0.0. And in here, just click on this. You can see here we have here this item. You're going to click on this and just copy the HTML. So here's a quick note. If you would read here and you would search here for the getting started, it will suggest you just to get this code here. Automatically, it will understand it. But no, this is not the case. Or I, I noticed that some people are experiencing issue with it, and I have the same issue as well, where this here doesn't indicate if it is a JavaScript or not. So you need to have the one in the JS deliver. So you can see here data labels.min.js. Very important. So we're going to copy that. And once we have copied that, we're going to paste this link in here and make sure you pay attention to where you put in the link. We put in the link below chart.js. Why? The data labels plugin is a uh, need or is dependent on the chart.js library. So first, it needs to load this one before you will load the other one. All right. Once we did that, we can save this here and you will see here nothing happens yet, of course, because we didn't activate it or register it. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to register it here, basically the integration. To do this, what we need to do here is basically this here. You can copy this chunk of code. I'm going to show you the easiest way to do it, and I recommend you to use it like this. It's in here, in the options. We have the options here. Uh, let's see here, options, after the options, comma, and then we paste in this here, meaning that we activate this specific plugin only for this chart. You can remove the comma here, it doesn't matter so much, but make sure there's a comma here because it's a continuation, not an object here. So if I save this now and refresh, we can see now I have the data label shown in here in the stack bar chart. And what is even nice is if we would copy our not our uh, data set, so just put in here another data set, comma, and save this. Let's say your weekly cost. There you are. You can see now it automatically grabs it as well. You can see the values 12, which is also matching in the tooltip 12, 5, and 12, which is all correct. So this is basically the way to do it. If you want to learn more about this, because I have created an entire series about this specific plugin, how you can use it, make sure you check out this specific link here, which is the Chart.js Data Labels plugin, because there's so much more what you can do. And there's over 18 videos or 19 videos as of now, covering everything what you need about Chart.js uh, plugin, the data labels. So very useful to check this one out as well.